So once you fold it in half and you have it aligned, just crease that back edge in, just like that. Once you crease it in, open it back up, and now you should have a line going through the center, just like that. Now what you want to do is you want to align this edge to that center edge right there, the center crease you just made. So just fold it like that, right to the center. And once you have it aligned, again, just <laughs> crease it in. Then what you want to do is you want to do the same thing on this side, so align this edge with that center crease you made. So just fold it, and again once you have a line, just crease that back end in. Once you have both sides creased in, simply open it up. And now you should have four different flaps in the center, or three creases. Once you've got this, now what you want to do is you want to fold it so that this edge here aligns with this first crease and our goal is to create eight different flaps by the end of it so once you have it aligned just crease it in or eight different sections open it up and now what you want to do is you want to fold it so that this edge here aligns with this top edge right here, this one actually, once you've got aligned with this very top crease right here, just simply crease it in. So now what you should have is six different sections. Now what you want to do is you want to turn it around this way so that you have the bigger sections facing you. And you want to fold this first edge and align it with this first crease right here. This crease. So just fold it like that. And once you have it aligned, just crease that in. Open it back up. And now finally, what you want to do is you want to fold it so that this edge here aligns with this second small crease right here, this one. And just, once you have it aligned, simply crease that back end in, just like that. And now what you should have is eight different flaps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once you've got eight, you're finished for this part. Now what you want to do is you want to fold it so that this edge here aligns with this bottom edge down here. Just like that. And once you've got it aligned, like so. Simply crease the back end in, just like that. Now we're going to repeat the same steps on this side. So fold it so that this edge aligns with that center crease we made. fold this. I fold this side so that this edge meets that center crease. Just like this. Then unfold it. Now fold it so that this edge here meets that first crease we made. it in. Open it back up. Now fold it so that this edge 
meets this first crease here. Hold it all the way up here. And then crease it in. Just like that. Open it back up. Now turn it to the side where you've got the bigger flaps or the bigger sections. And fold it so that this edge meets that first crease right there. Just like that. And again, once it's aligned, simply crease the back end in. Open it up. And next, you want to fold it so that this edge here meets the second small section, so the second crease right here, all the way up to this crease. And once you've got it aligned, crease the back end in, just like that. And now, hold it like this, fold the first one along that second crease right there, just like that. And now you want to fold it so that this edge here meets this crease right here. So that's the first, second, third crease from this side. And just fold it along that crease. And you're going to get an additional section. Right along here. So as you can see we folded it so that it aligns with this crease right here. And now you should have something that looks like this. Once you've gotten this far, just fold, start folding it this way so that you have all these creases going uh, parallel this way. Uh, fold it the proper way so you want to just keep folding that inwards. Because you want them all to be mountain folds. You hold it like this. And you should end up with a shape like this. And uh, when we're finished, it's actually going to go in like that. But uh, so far this was the easy part. Now this next part is going to be a little bit tricky. What you want to do is you want to open this flap up. And uh, what you'll notice is you've got, as we saw before, this subsection here. And when we close it back, what we get is this tiny flap up here and then this big flap right below it. Just like that, small thin section, the fat section. What we're going to do is, we're going to fold it so that we get a diagonal crease going from this tip right here all the way to this tip here. So it doesn't go all the way up to this small flap, it actually goes just up to this big flap here. So let me show it to you. What you do is you start a little pinch right there from that tip. Then you start one from this side. Just pinch that in, just like that. So we've got a crease starting from there and one starting from there. It doesn't have to be aligned at first, but once you've got the two pinches, then just fold this in such a way that both the creases you made are aligned, and then simply crease the whole thing in. And now, as you can see, we've got a crease going from this tip all the way here, but it doesn't go all the way up here. Just like this. And we want to do the same thing going from this edge to this edge. So we have one going from this edge to this edge. Do one that goes from this edge to this edge. So again, pinch this in just like that. Pinch this side like so, and then just align the two and now what you should have is an X going through the center but as you can see again this tip doesn't go any uh, all the way to the top here, it just ends at this first tiny little flap right there 
So now what you want to do is you want to do this whole thing all the way up to here. And I'm going to do that in time lapse so that uh, I don't bore you. So let me start. Okay. So once you're finished, you should end up with all these um, little X's going through the uh, rectangles there. And you should have something that looks like this. And uh, as you notice, it's a bit tedious, but it's not necessarily hard. It just takes a little time. So now what you want to do is you want to take this side here, and you want to insert it into this side when you do so you want to get it about two flaps in so this and this should be inside so just uh, hold it like this and just insert that flap right in there just like that and that's one flap but you want to get two flaps in there so just keep pushing just like that until you get both the flaps in. So you might have to work it a bit, but once you get both of them in, simply start shaping the edges, just like that. Just fold them outwards, to make mountain folds. And now what you should have is six edges. Six. And um, once you've gotten this far, this part right here, these two squares are going to be the base, like this, and this part is going to be 
right up here. What you want to do now is you want to start with the place where you just inserted the two flaps and you just want to define the crease going this way so just fold that like so just the ones going this way and you want to go ahead and do that all the way around just like this And then what you want to do is you just want to keep going around and eventually you just want to be able to fold it in to this position. So it would have been like that and you just want to fold it in like that. So I'm just going to do this in time lapse but um, you know just work here. It might take a little time but eventually you'll get it in there. 